So one of the topics that I wanted to talk about today is about rediscovering your passion. I'm hopefully quite a passionate person. I love doing this. I love trying to have a social impact in the world. And I kind of, I feel I found my calling probably three, four years ago, largely around the roadmap that it was fine to go through my career and try and earn money and do all the stuff that everyone else tries, tries to do. But actually the, the idea is to try and make a lasting impact on a bit of a legacy to help other people is actually kind of what gets me out of bed every day. And the truth is, I don't always feel great every day. It's that balance of where you can easily get frustrated with so many different things. You might have setbacks, you might have clients not return your call, you could lose clients, you might not make any money for a while, uh, you get frustrated, you, all of those kind of things. <clears throat> and it was almost, I wanted to talk about it, to say that almost it is normal that actually my first ever business was a photography business. And I love photography, obviously this is heavily kind of camera and tech kind of based. But the truth is after a while, I kind of lost the love for it because I'd almost commercialized and turned my passion into a business that actually almost because of that, I lost the love for some of the craft. And truth be told in the past, probably two months, I think I kind of struggled a little bit with some of the roadmap stuff that we were looking to do and just some other pressures and stuff that I had on board. And actually just trying to, you know, get my life back into balance and, um, you know, back on track was something that I've been working really hard on. And I think I'm now back on track. I think I've kind of cracked this. So something that I wanted to kind of talk about today. So the first thing is that we all get disheartened. Everyone in every job, every professional athlete, everyone at some point will get fed up or frustrated with what they do. That's perfectly normal. Arguably, if you don't ever get to that point, you're probably the exception. But the point is that setbacks are a part of everyday life. Arguably, it's one of the main parts of life that our job is often to overcome kind of challenges. But it's my point is that it's normal that if you're having a bit of a crappy time at the moment, almost just accept it. There's not a problem. It's not even unusual, but actually just it's a process to go through. But it probably does mean it's probably an internal barrier or something which kind of flags to yourself that maybe something isn't quite right and you want to make a change. But the point is that's a really kind of normal process. Um, in terms of things to do or things I found to kind of rediscover your passion, the first one actually is if you can spend time with good people. I think one of the things that as a management consultant, I spend a lot of time running other people's businesses and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But often if you have too much time taken away from doing stuff that you love and you're doing stuff that you don't enjoy, that itself can actually become a problem where essentially you just, you're not enjoying life at the moment. It's not that you've lost the passion for your passion project. It's just generally everything else is starting to get you down. But actually, if you can rediscover and spend more time with people that are passionate and people that love to do what you do, that can actually make a big difference. So for me, I had a meeting down in London. It was in the middle of June. And with some of this, you know, I was starting to get frustrated, but actually just a good hour or two with some really good people actually kind of picked me up and got me excited again. And that was really kind of important. The next thing is actually to take the pressure off. For most of us, we, we have a job or we have a startup or we have a passion project. And we always want to be the next Google and check, take over the world and do all this great stuff. And we want it tomorrow. And we always put a massive amount of pressure on ourselves to actually deliver stuff mega quick. When the truth is we don't have to, you can take as long as you humanly want to do stuff that actually, as soon as you take the pressure off and actually, you know, for me, I was always in Cubs and Scouts growing up, but there was a big thing about just do your best, just do your best see what happens and actually if things fail they fail but you know that you've given it your best shot. I think through actually taking that approach it's actually helped me to almost take the pressure off what I'm doing that I know internally I have good uh, motivations for what I'm trying to do but if it doesn't work that's fine and I will just pivot and change and do something else but actually taking the pressure off actually has massively helped uh, kind of what I do. Actually finding stuff that you really enjoy to do and do more of it and find the stuff that you hate to do and do less of it. So for instance, I, I love to play basketball. Um, I've rarely kind of rediscovered my love for the sport and actually with the change in my 40th birthday, I now qualify for different um, masters and veterans leagues and I have different goals to aim for. But actually that's really given me a fresh spark on life to actually start working on my fitness more and playing in different leagues and actually just up in my game. But actually 
doing more of something that I love seems to actually genuinely kind of be helping, which is good. And then likewise, doing less of what I didn't enjoy. I had a lot of client work on that I wasn't really enjoying doing. It was just kind of taking me away from everything else. So I basically just stopped doing it. And the combination of all of these things combined with a very happy, healthy kind of home life seems to be working in just helping me redefine your passion. But the point is, it's okay to stop what you're doing if you're not enjoying it. It's okay to pivot, it's okay to change. There are no hard and set rules. And actually, as an entrepreneur, you essentially should look and see what works and what you enjoy. And if it stops working or you don't enjoy it, just change. There's absolutely nothing wrong in doing it. And if anything, a really good entrepreneur is happy to pivot, change, drop things and change their plan. And that's a perfectly normal part of life. But what I wanted to do was just talk for a few minutes about rediscovering your passion. Um, I was there recently where almost I kind of stopped loving what I was doing. I understand why it just I had a lot of pressure on my shoulders, a lot of kind of things going on. But actually, there are things you can do to help. And actually, just in the past kind of week or so, I've kind of realized that actually I'm a lot happier now than I was maybe a month ago. And actually, if that feels like you, there are things that you can do. Um, my name's Steve P. If you catch this on YouTube or any of the other kind of social platforms, please reach out and drop me a message. I'd love it if you kind of get in touch. Um, you can check out Roadmap MBA on all the different channels. And we are a social impact startup here to make business education accessible to 5 billion people.